Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about different types of ovules found in angiosperms. In angiosperms, there are basically six different types of ovules. So let's begin. The first type of ovule that we will discuss is known as orthotropous type of ovule. Now, the Greek meaning of the term ortho means straight and tropos means turned. Okay. Now, I hope that you are familiar with the different parts of uh, ovule or megasporangium as we have discussed in the earlier video. And if you did not watch the previous video, then I'll put the link in the description box. Okay. You can check that and then you can uh, come to this video. Okay. Now what happens in this type of ovule is that the micropyle, chalaza and funicle will lie in one straight line. See here, this is the micropyle, okay? this is the chalaza and here is the funicle. These three parts will lie in one straight line and this type of ovule is known as orthotropous ovule. These are commonly found in the families Polygonesi, Articaceae, etc. Okay, now we will move on to the second type of ovule which is known as anatropous type. Okay, ana in Greek means backwards and tropos means turned. So it is an inverted kind of ovule. Here the body of the ovule turns backwards by an angle of 180 degree. Okay, compared to the previous ovule orthotropous. Okay, here what happens? The orthotropous ovule will turn backward by an angle of 180 degree and form an inverted type of ovule known as anatropous ovule. Here the micropyle becomes close to the hilum and funiculus. Okay, this is a diagram you can see. This is the micropyle. Okay, it is inverted in such a way that it comes near to the hilum and funiculus part of the ovule okay this is the most common type of ovule found in angiosperms around more than 80 percent of the angiosperms contain this type of ovule okay now let's move on to the third type which is known as hemitropous type now in greek the word hemi means half and tropos means turned okay here what happens the body of the ovule is placed transversely or someone at right angle to the funicle now this is the funicle or the stalk of the ovule okay to this funicle the body is attached or placed at about 90 degree angle you can see this okay this is about at the 90 degree angle okay such type of ovule is known as hemitropous type chalaza and micropyle are present here in one straight line you can compare this this is the micropyle okay this is the chalaja they will line in one straight line okay this is commonly found in ranunculus the type 4 ovule is known as campylotropus now the term campylos meaning curved okay here what happens the body is curved more or less at right angle to the funicle micropylar and is slightly bent down you see this it is more or less 90 degree not exactly right 90 degree but more or less of that okay 90 degree to the funicle the body lies at about 90 degree to the funicle okay here the micropylar end it is slightly bent downwards okay it is commonly found in leguminosae right now we will move on to the fifth type of ovule which is known as amphitropus type. Here what happens, the curvature of the ovule is more pronounced and embryo sac becomes horse to shape it. So you see this curvature, this is so pronounced right. Here what is the shape of the embryo sac? The shape of the embryo sac is horse shoe shape it okay and such type of ovule is known as campylotropus ovule it is commonly found in butomacy remember okay now let's move on to the last type of ovule that is the sarcinotropus 
Now say sarsino, sarsino circle. So it is quite related to some circular thing. Okay, now let's see what it is. The funicle is very long. Okay, in this case you see the funicle is very long. This thing is the funicle. This entire thing is the funicle. It is quite long. Okay, and the ovule rotates by an angle of 360 degree in such a fashion that it is completely circled around by the funicle. Yes or no? This is the funicle. Okay, and this is the ovule. It rotates about 360 degree. Okay, and it seems that the ovule is completely circled around by the funicle. Yes, the micropyle faces upwards. Here, the micropyle will be facing upwards. Now, this type of ovule is common in cactaceae. Okay, so these were the six types of ovules found in angiosperms out of which the anatropus ovule is the most common. I hope this video is helpful to you all and if you like my videos then please subscribe to my channel and share it among your friends. Okay, and uh, I'll put the link of the previous video in the description box and until then good luck and goodbye.